हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू साइबेटिक आई होप एवरी वन हैज किप दैट फायर टू लर्न न्यू थिंग्स विथ अस बिकॉज टूडे डे थर्टीन ऑफ ट्राई हैक मी एडवेंट ऑफ साइबर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंट्रोड्यूशन डिटेक्शन सिस्टम हाउ वी कैन अलाउ और ब्लॉक सम ऑफ द रूल्स एंड विल अंडरस्टैंड सम डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन दिस टॉपिक सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So let's start with our today's topic, where we are going to learn about intrusion detection system. So let's just understand the scenario first. The purpose merger and suspicious activity have kept all the teams busy and engaged, so that the best festival company systems are safeguarded in the future against malicious attack. Max Kiddy assigns the B team, led by the Mac Hannibal, to research and investigate mitigations and proactive security. The team's effort will be challenged. and into the company defensive security process you are a part of team a security researchers task with the gathering informations and defense and mitigations efforts so today we are going to learns about what do we mean by diamond models how we can identify defensive strategies that can be applied to that particular model and learn some set up firewalls rules and honey pots against the defensive stra- strategies so let me just uh, dive into that so we got that uh username and password of the ssh so let's just understand the introduction part what do we mean by int- intrusion detections intrusion detection and prevention is a critical component of cyber security aimed at identifying and mitigating threats when set up early intrusion detection becomes a proactive security measure however in our story the best festival company has to develop ways to improve their security given the magnitude of the recent breaches in this epic task will embark a thrilling journey through em fundamental concepts detection strategies and the application of the diamond model so let's just start about the incident analysis consider a cyber threat event that has recently taken place within the best festival company and antarctic craft we have identified clues that artifacts we are just piece of them to lead us the attacker we need a framework to profile the attacker understand their moves and help us to strengthen our defenses now let's just understand the diamond model so let me just extend it in the full screen and let's just minimize it to view understand it properly yes so let's just understand the diamond model the diamond model is a security analysis framework that seasoned professional used to unravel the mysteries of adversary operations and identify the elements used in the intrusion it compromises four fo- core facts in- interconnected to form a well orchestrated blueprint of the attacker's plan the first one is adversary victim third one is infrastructures and fourth one is capability so let's just understand one by one so we will learn this particular knowledge we gained the previous days of advent of cyber to unlock the secret hidden within these core features so let's just understand adversary first in our exciting story line we have discovered a suspected insider threat causing trouble within the best festival company and interfering with the purposed man- merger with antigraph this individual who will call the adversary operator is not just an ordinary trouble maker they are very clever attacker or malicious threat actor responsible for cyber attacks or intrusion adversary operators can be individual or entire organizations aiming to disrupt the operations of the another so now that's not only just a type of adversary the adversary customer is another interrogating player in this grand scheme they are the one who reaps the reward for the cyber attack and can consolidate the f- efforts of adversary operators now let's just understand the victim victim which we already know this is none other than the target of the adversary's wicked intentions it could be a single individual or the domain or an entire organizations with multiple networks and data assets infrastructure every adversary needs tool they require software or hardware to execute their malicious objectives infrastructure represents the physical and logical interconnections that an adversary employ capability uh what capabilities this adversary have what skills tools and techniques that they employ here we have a total uh, different types of examples they had given phishing exploiting vulnerabilities socializing attacks these are the capabilities which they can do 
so let's just understand the defensive diamond model but fear not for shall we will not be more observers in this cosmic battle we will harness the power of the diamond models component particularly capability in the infrastructure for our defensive and dpr we will forge the best festival company in a formidable defender so defend defensive capability so let's just understand about the threat hunting it is a proactive and iterative process led by the skilled security professional to actively search for the signs of ma malicious activities or security weakness within the organizations networks and systems organizations can detect adversary early in their attack life cycle by conducting their regular threat hunts now vulnerability management as we know in our day to day life it's a structured process of identifying accessing prioritizing mitigation and monitoring vulnerabilities in our organization systems and applications and defensive infrastructure the best festival company will construct their bastion for defense fortified with tools and infrastructure to repel cyber attacks layered upon the hardware and software will be deployed firewall as we know about it but let's just understand the overview of it the might the mighty firewall is a guardian of the network and sentinel of the cyber security this network security defy stands vigilant monitoring and controlling the ebb and flow of the incoming and outgoing network traffic firewalls have many uh, benefits and common types of firewall that the exist is like stateless or packet filtering which we call as this firewalls provides the most straight forward functionality by inspecting and filtering individual network packets based on a set of rules that wouldn't be a source or the destination ip address ports or protocols stateful inspection This firewall is more sophisticated. It is used to track the state of the network, connections and the use of the information to make filtering decisions. Proxy services, which we already know about it and many mo most of the companies use this particular services. This pro uh, firewall protects the network by filtering the message at the application layer, providing deep packet inspections and more granular control over the traffic con con content. WAF, which is also used The firewall is designed to protect web applications, web application firewalls, WAF, which we call block common web attacks such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, denial of service, which we already know, and there are many pro popular products like Cloudflare, CloudFront, and Imperva services. Next generation firewalls. E, this is new. This firewall combines the functionality of the stateless, stateful, and the proxy firewalls with features such as intrusion detection and prevention of the content filtering. So let's just start with our. today's topic so first let me just open the firefox and one terminal we are going to use ssh over here hyphen l so let me just quickly do that yes we have connected to the ssh over here and let me just minimize the firefox because we don't need it for now and view zoom in and i hope this is visible for you so let me just clear it out yes and then we are get into that now this ufs command ufs is it means that we are running a ubuntu services which is used for the network trafficking controls and all so let's just understand and first of all all the commands has been used by the sudo operator so let's just do a sudo su over here sudo su control set v enter yes now we are the root so let's just directly enter the ufw status okay the status is inactive it means the firewall is inactive currently so over there we don't have currently any rules so we have to define default rules to allow or block traffic this can be said to deny all incoming connections and allow all outgoing connection so for that let just me just copy it okay default outgoing policy change to allow be sure to update your rules accordingly okay now again we have to perform a default deny incoming so we are allowing the outgoing and denying the incoming traffic so let me just copy it yes we have done with that Additionally we can add modify and delete the rules by specifying an IP address port number service names or protocol In this example we had add a rule to allow legitimate incoming connections to port 2020 which will allow connections via SSH We could get two confirmation messages indicating that the rules has been implemented for the IPv4 and IPv4 6 So let me just uh, use this 
allowed to 2022 so yes the rules has been updated for the both uh, v4 v6 and v4 versions now firewalls rules can be more complex incorporating specific ip address subnets or even specific network traffic so let's just copy it we are denying okay deny an ethernet so whoever connects with the an ethernet from this particular who access this particular ip it will be ruled and allowed as a uh, deny so let me paste yes once we have added our rules we can enable the service and check the rules so for that we have to uh, use ufw enable yes okay firewall is active and enabled on the system startup cool now we have to perform a uf status verbose to see and in a detailed way let me just and we can see that uh, it is active and uh, logging which is on which is on the low priority deny incoming outgoing is allowed and disable the rotate and 2022 tcp port is allowed in from anywhere anywhere which is denied from this particular port and ip address same like this 2022 tcp with the ipv6 version also so which is correct and ufw we have to perform a reset over here so what happens if the rules are incorrectly configured we can reset the firewalls and re revert it to default status and able to configure the refresh rules again so ufw reset okay yes okay all the rules has been reset again at this point when thinkers it has a much deeper understanding or to how to set up and configure firewalls rules to help Man mac honeybell implement centos defenses now let's just understand about the honeypots this is another intricating piece of infrastructure in the world of defensive security picture is a trap of late to the attacker a mirage of the vulnerability tempting that they away from the true treasures behold the honeypot the honeypot is a cyber security mechanism a masterful deception it presents itself as alluring target to the adversaries drawing them away from the true prices honeypots can come into the form of software application servers or entire the network so honeypots can be classified into two types low interaction honeypots these honeypots are typically mimic simple systems like web server or the databases high interaction honeypots these honeypots take deceptions to the high new heights and emulating complex systems like operating systems and networks to demonstrate how to set up a honeypot we will take a look into the tool of pend t box okay so we have to uh, get back to this particular directory so let me just copy it yes and when we when we perform a ls we can see that we have a ruby script that is pend box over here so let's just run it as we are already root so we don't need to add a sudo command over here so dot slash yes we have to go for the network tools we have to apply for the honeypot we have to perform a manual configurations insert a port to open 8080 and false message over here so are they given any kind of false message so let me just honeypot activated over here center has gone for the holidays tough luck okay let me just copy it and save logs for the yes and after that uh, default yes yes honeypot is activated on the port so let me just went into that so let's copy it copy that and over here we have to go over this particular ip address and it will not connect over here directly so we have to go over here and it perform an 8080 over here the reason is because we are in the HTTPS and again we are getting a message over here so it means that the honeypot is getting detected over here and we can see and the we had got the host name user agent accept accept languages and every details over here from where the request has been detected intrusion attempt detected over here and we had got the message Santa has gone for the holidays tough luck yes we had configured the firewalls so 
After learning about firewalls and honeypots, Brent Tickle put his knowledge into the practice and set up a simple website to the hidden behind some firewall rules. You can deploy the firewall rules by executing ventricular.sh script. So let me just get back to this uh, directory again. So let me just cancel this tab and hit exit. cd space dot dot cd space dot dot ls and we can see that uh, we have a shell file so cat when yes and we can see that uh, there is a 8090 tcp over here which is denied so let me just uh, try to enable it and what let's see what will happen over here so we will use a command ufw enable 8090 fcpu so let me just uh, directly paste it over here so let me just hit enter over here okay utf okay i guess it was a uh, ufw not utf yes rules has been updated so let me just again go and see we can see that uh, it still says a uh, sudo ufw deny over here but uh, don't worry it will be resetted and let me just navigate to over here hit 90 and hit enter Okay, we can see a website completely and let's just found a flag over here, THM. Okay, we had got the flag. Let's just copy it and paste that below one. Yes, it's the correct answer. And then let's just solve which security model is being used to analyze the breach and defense strategies. Yes, now I hope you will understand about what do we mean by that, which model which we are going to discuss. That is about the diamond model. Which defense capability is used to actively search for the signs of the malicious activity? It was a threat hunting. So let me just type it. Yes. What are the what are our main proof infrastructure focuses on? So it was about a firewall and honeypot. So let me just enter the details. <coughs> what firewall command is used to block the traffic? It was a deny. Yes. So we have solved the task of the two days. That is about we had learned about intrusion detection systems how we can set up and firewall and block some of the incoming traffic so i hope you understand the basic concept of intrusion detection because this is really useful when you work in a big organization when we have to protect and lock the incoming and outgoing traffic so i'll see you in the next video till the time goodbye and jai hind